Today we're going to show you how to pull a 06 cylinder head from the junkyard. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go over is what tools do you need to do the job? So um, first, I would recommend with any GM engine, your main sizes are gonna be 10, 13, and 15. So I would have different shapes and sizes of sockets, wrenches, ratchets, um, every combination. Um, you're gonna be getting into tight spots that you don't have a lot of room, so um, you're going to need to either have lots of extensions or very little extensions and different uh, lengths and sizes. Um, another thing that's very helpful is to have a set of good cutters. You're going to be cutting a lot of hoses and wires and stuff, so definitely need those. Um, the only real specialty thing that you're going to need is a 10 millimeter Allen head uh, socket. You're going to need that for um, to take the head bolts loose, they're a Allen head like this, and you're going to need a very, very nice breaker bar with a lot of leverage because they are not easy to remove and when they break loose they get pretty violent. Um, you'll need screwdrivers to unscrew uh, hose clamps and that kind of thing. If you want to get real fancy, um, one of these uh, fuel, fuel line removal tools is helpful to get the fuel line off. Um, and then a battery powered saws off or anything that's being difficult, you just break that out and, you know, make it go away, turn it into butter. Um, a pry bar is helpful. We actually found a method that was particularly uh, useful, which was to loosen most of the bolts on the intake manifold, all of the easy ones, and then use a pry bar to just pry it out of the way and loosen all of the valve cover bolts and then take the valve cover off and throw it to the side. Um, additionally, a battery powered um, uh, impact driver is very helpful. Just makes things faster. Um, obviously you can't use this everywhere. There's some tight spots that you can't get to it with. And, uh, but you know, generally I would recommend a toolkit a lot like this one, um, just in case you run into anything weird. And then the last thing I'm gonna say is a pair of channel locks. Definitely gonna need these. The uh, front, um, these little uh, plugs here, which uh, give you access to the uh, timing chain uh, guides. The bolts behind them, these, these tend to strip out, so I recommend you just grab them around the outside edge and loosen them like that. So that is the tools that you're going to need. So let's get started. All right, so you found yourself a 4.2 with an aluminum valve cover in the junkyard. The engine is in questionable shape. I don't care what it says on the windshield. Anything that comes from the junkyard is in questionable shape. Got here somehow. So first thing that you need to know about these 4.2s is they don't give you access for the val valve cover bolts on the intake side and you need to take the valve cover off so that you can get to the head bolts so you gotta take the intake off but they don't give you a lot of room to take the intake off so what we recommend is battery powered sawzall <laughs> and you just cut the intake off and then you can get your valve cover off it'll save you a whole bunch of time still going to be a pain in the butt you might as well just saw it off so let's get started on that all right guys coming to you from the editing room floor um, we actually found that this method didn't work too great one it consumed a lot of the battery power on your sawzall which you could use for other things um, like your impact driver or cutting other miscellaneous things and two 
it took a lot more time. We've actually done this method before where you saw all the intake off and um, it worked well in the past, but for whatever reason, it didn't work too great this time. So um, I'm gonna revise our recommendation and say that our other method of taking literally all the intake bolts off, except for the last one, because the last one's a pain in the butt, take all of them out and then you're gonna take the throttle body off and then you're gonna take your pry bar and you're gonna shove it into the intake and you're gonna pry back on the intake and that will give you access to all of your valve cover bolts on this side of the engine and that will allow you to remove the valve cover which will allow you to remove the head bolts which will allow you to remove the head and then once you have the head off you can get that last bolt um, that seemed to be the most efficient way to do it um, additionally getting this ECU bracket and everything there out of your way is very smart um, we also recommend take the fan off um, whether you just saws all the blades off um, get the radiator out of your way um, get the uh, condenser out of your way because you're going to be reaching your arm back through this cavity here and getting to all your intake bolts. So just wanted to uh, leave that recommendation there. Obviously, um, Sawzall method didn't really work out too well. So I thought I'd drop that little bit of knowledge there. All right, back to the video. Alright, so now that you got your valve cover off, you're going to be starting to break loose your head bolts. And when these head bolts break loose, they get pretty violent. So, I recommend you take a piece of wood and you shove it in between your cam and your bolt so that when it pops loose, it doesn't uh, damage your cam. That's part of what we're after here today, so you don't want to ruin good stuff. So, we'll start breaking these loose and... Uh, yeah. To break your cam loose, just shove a ratchet through your cam sprocket and away you go. When you're breaking your head bolt loose, make sure you keep an eye out for sharp objects because when you pull on this thing, it's going to snap loose and want to make sure you don't get hurt. Alright, so make sure you don't forget these three bolts in the front and you're also going to have to take these plugs off the front of the head and get the bolts that hold the... Uh, timing chain guides off. So to do that, I normally just use a regular old pair of uh, channel locks because the Allen head that is in there almost always strips out and once you break it loose with the channel locks, you can just unscrew it and then it's a 10 millimeter bolt in there and then if your junkyard is smart, they already took the cat off for you. Okay, so that should be the last of the things that'll get you and then the head should come right off.
Okay, so that was a lot of work. We pulled uh, three cylinder heads today. The first one that we pulled was this one here, which you can see it has a couple of, is it this one? Yeah, it has a couple of bent valves. Um, so obviously the valves are not gonna be very useful, but the cylinder head could definitely be uh, refurbished and used. The second one that we pulled is this one over here. And you can see that cylinder number four has a decent amount of rust. Um, the cylinder wall in that particular cylinder was pretty, uh, pretty rusty. Additionally, the cams in the uh, top are rusty. Somebody obviously, uh, this was the only one that didn't have a hood on the vehicle. I'd recommend you look for a vehicle that has a hood. And obviously rain got down into the engine and uh, ruined stuff. The last one we pulled was this one and that one is mint. The cams look great, the valves look great, the cylinder deck looked great. In fact, we only broke, I think, two head bolts on it. Only one. We only broke one head bolt on that one. Yeah, it, it, that one's mint. I would throw that on an engine and run it just the way it is. No uh, question about it. So, as far as time, um, I think the first one took us an hour and ten minutes. The second one was around maybe 55 to an hour and then the last one the uh, junkyard was closing and we had to rush a little bit and we managed to pull it in about 37 minutes so it's definitely a case of the more you do it the better you get some other tips that i will give is i recommend you get the radiator out of the way it's just you know you might say ah i can work around it just get it out of your way it's a pain in the butt you know, whether you use the Sawzall or whatever you do, just get it out of the way. It'll make your life easier. You're going to be reaching in alongside of the engine to get all of your intake bolts out. Just get it out of the way. Get the fan out of the way. Get, you know, I just cut the blades off and pull the fan off. Yeah, it just makes the whole thing faster. So there's a reason that we bought three cylinder heads today. And uh, you will see those in future episodes. Look forward to that. So make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.